Hey guys, John Botel here again, and um, today I want to show you inside Convertry and um, kind of the hidden features of Convertry and the main power behind it. What we're going to show you today is just how fast Convertry is and, or, and the kind of steps it takes to uh, optimize your site so it loads in the fastest possible time. Now, why would you be interested in that? Well, let me tell you why. Because um, attention spans are getting less and less and less. And people, quite frankly, will just not wait for a, uh, a web page to load anymore. However, on the opposite side of that, people expect really high definition, high quality images, really high definition video. They expect all the bells and whistles, but they're not willing to wait for those things to load. What happens is they just leave your site. If your site is taking longer than a couple of seconds to load, you're losing business. And if you're losing business, you're losing conversions, you're losing profits, uh, and, and basically you're just pretty much throwing money down the drain. You've got to have a page that loads lightning fast and has all of those bells and whistles of high definition images, really depth and, and, and vibrance in what you're doing. So uh, what I thought I'd do, uh, and this is completely unscripted, I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I'm going to load up um, an image that I've just downloaded from Big Stock. It's a, it's a huge image, it's a five megabyte image, so it's a really high definition image. Uh, and I'm going to upload it to Convertry and I'm going to upload it to ClickFunnels uh, set up the two little sites just with that one image in it so they're a direct comparison. Then I'm going to run Google Page Insights on those two images and we're going to see uh, what the results are. Okay, so let's jump right into it. First of all, I'm going to open Chrome and just jump into Convertry. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick the, uh, the test domain that we were working with before. and get into the subs test. And you remember from the last video, this is the um, the funnel we created. So I'm just gonna go into main offer now, and this is the editing page. All we have to do to get an image in here is just drag the image icon onto the screen, and that opens up our image library automatically. Now, as I said to you, I've already um, got an image that I downloaded earlier. You can see it here, speed test. You can see it's 5.5 megabyte. I'm not going to adjust it. I'm not going to mess around with it or play with it or try to optimize it or do anything like that. I'm just going to grab this image, drop it down here. And now this is in the Convertory library. If we just go down, you can see it's right here. If we click that button, so it's a big image. So we're waiting on uh, speed upload time. So yep, let's just click that. There we go. So that's the full size image there. In fact, what I'm going to do with Convertry is I'm just going to make that full width and just drag it down so we can uh, see what we got. Uh, we press save, we press publish, and we're going to call this um, speed test and publish. Okay, guys, that's now live on the web. So I'm just going to hit that and grab this URL here. Okay, in fact, no, I'm just going to leave that uh, up live uh, so that I can grab that later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, go into my ClickFunnels account. So let me just make a new window uh, and go into ClickFunnels. And let me just log in here. And log in. Okay, uh, let me just um, let me just pick a funnel I got here. This is one of mine. Oops, I have no idea what I just hit. Oops, lots of things popping up from ClickFunnels. Okay, um, what I want to do is I just want to add a new page in here. So what I'm going to do is hit add new step and I'm going to call this speed test. I'm just going to keep this on my standard root main and I'm going to call it speed test. Uh, it's asking me for the, the type of page. Um, honestly, I just want a blank page. So let me just go down to blank page
Okay, so now we have our blank page. I'm gonna open the editor. And uh, we don't need that. Let me just get rid of that. What I need is an image. So it's gonna be a single image. And I'm just gonna add that to page. And then we need to upload the image again to ClickFunnels. Okay, so we need to find that. It is speed test image. You can see it's the same image, 5.5 .5 megabyte. I've not messed around. And open that. Okay, so that's going to start the, the upload. It's going to take a, a couple of minutes to get that. Um, maybe take a couple of minutes. It's a couple of seconds, maybe, to get that uploaded. Okay. Still processing it. There we go. Now it's in. So I'm just going to add image. Now that's as wide as, as we can go. I could set it as a background image. Convertry has more flexibility in where you can put things. Um, ClickFunnels is a block-based editor. So, but they're both 5.5 .5 megabyte images, both uploaded. It doesn't matter how big you stretch them on the page, by the way. It's how big um, it, it actually um, uh, is when you upload it. That's what loads, regardless of how big or small you make it display on the page. I could make this image display really small uh, by, by uh, changing the width here. I could make it like 300 like tiny, but that's still 5.5 .5 megabytes in size. Regardless of how it displays, it doesn't affect the page load time. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out. I'm just gonna make it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna exit out of that because I wanna to get to the actual page where it is. Okay, so this is where it is. It's under this everlasting pen domain that I have. Uh, and this is that image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close down ClickFunnels. So now we have these two. Um, we have these two domains. We have this everlasting pen speed test, which is done in ClickFunnels, and we have this uh, JB Tester Convertry .com speed test done with Convertry, obviously. Now, as I said before, doesn't matter that this image is bigger. In fact, it it probably emphasizes my point even more. Um, doesn't matter that this image is bigger and this image is smaller, they're both 5.5 .5 megabytes and that's what, what the key is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up um, and I'm going to just type in speed test. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to type in web page speed test. There we go. Google. That's what I'm looking for. Oops. Search. Page speed, Google developers, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so what we're gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna do the, um, let me just get rid of that. Uh, I'm gonna grab the ClickFunnels URL. So that's this one, okay? Copy that, and I'm gonna paste it in here. Analyze. So it's having a look at it, it's having a think. Okay. That's mobile, seven out of 100, okay? Desktop, nine out of 100, okay? Just remember those numbers. Mobile, seven out of 100. Desktop, nine out of 100, okay? That's using ClickFunnels. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing using the Convertor URL, okay? So we're copying it. Go across here, paste it. You can see it's the right URL. Analyze. 96 out of 100. 98 out of 100 on user experience and speed. And 98 out of 100 <laughs> on uh, summary. And this was unscripted. I had no idea the difference would be that big. That's insane. I mean, it was a very big file, but that's insane. Um, honest, I'm, I'm honestly flabbergasted. And seriously, I had, I thought there would, I knew there would be a difference. I had no concept that the difference would be that big. So um, there you go, guys. 
that's what we're talking about. You can build truly beautiful, high definition, really rich, deep, vibrant sites with high definition video, high definition um, images that really pop and engage people, high definition video backgrounds that really, uh, uh, you know, uh, make people stick to your site and want to be part of your community and part of your site. And when they're built with Convertery, these are the, the results you get. So there you go, guys. Uh, I mean, it, the, the proof is is clearly uh, plain to see there. If you want to copy these URLs, by the way, and test this out for yourself, feel free to do so. Um, that's the, uh, let me show you. That's the ClickFunnels URL. Feel free, I'll leave these up here. Um, that's ClickFunnels URL. You can test this stuff out for yourself. That is the um, Convertor URL. So test them out for yourself, guys, uh, and you can see for yourself just how powerful Convertory will be to, uh, uh, you know, stop losing all those people who are waiting for your page to load. Okay, guys, hope you found this one useful.